I love being in Great Britain, and specifically in Bristol. <laughs> yeah, that's just something so unique and special. Can you hear me well? I didn't do my voice warm-up today, but um, I do feel quite empowered regardless. And um, you know how one of the questions that is of great interest to me and really drives me ever since is how can we get out of the mess? Question mark. How can we get out of the mess of uh, constantly needing to change, hold on to our thoughts, emotions, sensations, assuming that we are flawed and needing to be fixed, that something is wrong with us, that um, something is not just right. And if already something good is happening, there is the, for me at least, there was the entire fear and paranoia that it will go away. So I really put so much effort to try to hold, that, hold it on to it, you know, like, no, 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 don't, don't, go, don't go away, like, ah, like holding on to space, basically. And my life experience before Balanced View, after Balanced View, is that my thoughts, emotions, and sensations, they are very dynamic, spontaneous, completely unpredictable, and ever-changing. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks for the agreement. So, you know. <laughs> Constantly changing thoughts, emotions, sensations. Now, to, to have a life dedication uh, of one person or entire society to try and arrange these thoughts, emotions, sensations, what we call data streams in Balanced View, to a nice picture, this is completely impossible. I tried so many things in my life in order to reach the sense of peace, of... Uh, stability by rearranging my data streams and it led me to be a bit like <laughs> you know what, what what's actually going on here Wh why do i constantly focus on me myself and what's wrong with me and what's good about me and all of that so i'm just sharing a bit about my personal mess which i think is also projected a bit everywhere in our society and all the while we are ignoring our most natural resource, our most natural resource as human beings is open intelligence. Our intelligence is not closed and limited. That's a, just a made up idea, <laughs> that our intelligence is closed, limited, that we need to do all of this effort and in order to feel okay, peaceful, beneficial and powerful. So. To introduce ourselves very directly to open intelligence, we can stop thinking for a moment. And when we stop thinking, what remains? Openness, clarity, cognizance, the power to know, this easeful power to know remains, this is open intelligence. Now we don't need to think that for the rest of our life we will need to stop thinking, recognize what remains. And, and everything that I memorized is just an introduction. Introduction to the nature of mind, introduction to our own intelligence, opening our intelligence. This is what we call, in, in, that's how we name it in Balanced View, and it's just, a, I think, a really cool term to describe, and very current term to describe the nature of our mind, the nature of our intelligence. Within this intelligence, vast and open like clear blue sky, there is all these data streams. Naughty, 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 <laughs> great and elevated, positive, neutral and negative, constantly changing. And the key point in the Balanced View training is that these data streams are inseparable from our intelligence, from this peaceful nature. So there are not two, you know, how many times I know this was my experience, I felt very divided. I could recognize something grand and powerful, yet I needed to constantly watch my thoughts and emotions, my data streams, like a cat watching a mouse. And also there are some practices that actually encourage this state, and it kept me very limited and confused because I felt division. You know, when we f want to feel completely connected to everyone, we can do it in short moments repeated many times. Until open intelligence, the instinctive recognition of open intelligence becomes continuous. That's how I feel completely connected to you, whether I know you or not. 
there's a sense of all of us uh, and a, an instinctive recognition that we are all united in this open intelligence. It, there's no division anywhere. I don't walk all day with, oh wait, I'm from this country, this religion, I'm this, I'm that. There's just, wow, we are all sharing the same human experience, living a life, wanting to be of benefit to all, and it's completely possible. And there are many life, four mainstays lifestyle choices out there. <coughs> we all live some kind of a lifestyle. It can be that you might be um, right-wing in your opinions and your points of view, and your lifestyle is based on that, or someone is uh, anyone. We have uh, our practice, we have our, our um, community of people who like to do the same thing, we have the training or the media that we watch, and also we have role models, what we call trainers. So in Balanced View, we have the Four Mainstays Lifestyle Choice that is customized and available to each person according to their unique style and the way they want to have it in their own life. It's not like producing balanced view participants. They come to an open meeting and then we all become the same. Each one shines in their unique strengths, gifts and talents. I'm very different than Sylvan and Sylvan is brilliant and I'm okay as well. <laughs> so, you know, we are not sitting then, how can I be like this person or that person? We can be inspired, for sure. People are amazing when they allow themselves to be as they are. There is confidence in speech, in body and qualities and activities that is just like awe-inspiring. Yet, this confidence come about in short moments repeated many times. You exactly as you are, that's what we, you are looking for. You exactly as you are, allowing yourself to be exactly as you are for short moments many times. Short moments many times is key because we are not trying to hold on to some kind of recognition, half an hour of instinctive recognition, a day of instinctive recognition, holding on to state. It's just short moments. Repeated many times, spontaneously, whenever you remember to do so, and that's like pressing the reset button. So you find yourself there at the end, uh, afflicted and confused about your thoughts and emotions and you want to have better ones. And it's just great to see that simply by pressing the reset button, there is relief. There is a short moment of complete release. Like a line drawn in water, leaving no trace. See if this is the case for you with this thought that you have now. Resistance, mm, let's think about it. Doubt. Yeah. Mm, I'm right. Justify, you see the collapse? Go, go to your favorite data stream now. <laughs> Please, go and make up the world. You, the individual who knows it better than everyone else. You discovered, yeah, go, go there. Create the division, create the tension. Go, 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 go. <laughs> go there, be afflicted for a moment. Just go there, you know, the visions that you see, the, 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 the thoughts that you have, the darkness, the light, everything. And for a short moment, relax exactly as you are. Can you see the difference? Can, can you see the difference just there, allowing it to be as it is? I mean, we are all kind of mad and funny in our, when we come down to it. We are all kind of funny in our thoughts and emotions. There's no need to build an entire story around it. A great fear that I had when I just started with the training was that um, if I will allow myself to be as I am, but truly as I am, I will not have discernment, I will not have clarity, and I will be too much to handle, both for myself and myself. <laughs> you see, it's already. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, okay. <laughs> <laughs> both for myself and others. <laughs> to my surprise and the guarantee of the training, um, what I found is actually stability in places where I found before only madness, depression, anger, anxiety, <coughs> fear.
fear of public speaking, can you imagine? Uh, all, all these kinds of things that came up for me and then there was just, wow, I can, it's actually, there's great humor here. There is release, there's openness, vastness in, that I couldn't experience before. And this is like being on a mountain top where everything is seen clearly. We are not denying anything, we are not rejecting anything, we simply see it as it is. And that really built such great solidarity within, I see it in myself, with my family, with my friends, with anyone. No matter where I go with uh, my open intelligence, there's just great solidarity and connection. Different nations, you know. But when I got this question in the 12 Empowerments, which we'll share a bit more about it, I got the question, what are your innate strengths, gifts and talents? Make a list, share it with the group. I was like, whoo, whoo. Um, I'm, I'm good in listening to other people, and uh, I like cats. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and there was the sense of who is this arrogant person who is sitting here in the chair going to speak in I, I had a group of 20 people, or more than 20 people, and I was like, no way. I'm going to share with them about my innate strengths, gifts, and talents. And also, some things I had no idea. I, basically, I just had no idea because I didn't recognize open intelligence. That was mainly fixing myself and going all over the place. So it's very common, and you see that once you visit this question, once more, let's say in two weeks' time, more and more will be revealed. And when you visit this question in another six months, you'll see, oh, actually... Ooh, there's a wealth of knowledge, there's a wealth of skillful means, of strengths, gifts and talents that I can actually utilize, not to the building up of a special individual who is so great and so unique, but actually to be of benefit. So even the point of view, the, the data stream of arrogance and pride, which we're all always on the verge of it, you know, I shouldn't be too much, too less, you try to... tune yourself according to what is expected in each time, place, and circumstance. What? Shine. <laughs> shining is so simple, like the sun, shining. It doesn't think, oh, I'm a bit too much now. <laughs> 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 That's a nice metaphor for children, right? <laughs> the sun is always shining, and so are you. <laughs> in balanced view. Uh, <laughs> you know... But to be serious, yeah, we have so much to contribute, and that's great. You just started with the 12 empowerments and, and this training, and more and more will be revealed. So it's also the humility to see, I don't know everything. I, I'm, I'm in the same position. I don't know everything, but there's so much more to be revealed, and it's exciting rather than scary. I know that the direction is always the benefit of all. And that's what is provided for those who are interested in the simple tools of uh, everyday life uh, of the Four Mainstays, this is what provided freely and generously for anyone who is interested in that. Short moments, the practice, the trainers, trainings, trainers and community. And that's what we call the Four Mainstays. Uh,